Welcome back to Harris Farm, where we would love to share two of our favorite party recipes. We're going to be making baby pizzas, which is Miss Emily Martin's favorite thing, and we're going to be making our chicken bacon roll-ups, which is Miss Angela Burgess's favorite things. We have made hundreds of these, and we've been making the baby pizzas since Emily was two years old, and you're now... How old are you? 11. So for nine years, our family's been enjoying these recipes. We'd love to share them with you. So Emily and I are gonna make some, and Angela's gonna be working on the chicken roll-ups. Easy, simple, and a winner recipe. There you go, open your biscuits. Do it right here in the middle. Okay, we're gonna spray our pan with Pam. Okay. And Emily and I are going to divide any brand of biscuits you like. You divide your dough in half. And you just mash it out as thin as you can possibly mash it using your hands. And today we're gonna to have two varieties. Um, my dad had the best recipe in the world for spaghetti sauce, and we all make daddy's spaghetti sauce. And I usually keep some frozen in my freezer. So you drag a container out of the freezer, you let it thaw while you're at work, you come home, you put these together and you have a great easy snack for Super Bowl night. And then, today we're doing the barbecue chicken ones because one of my friends happens to love barbecue chicken pizza. So we did four chicken breasts, we deboned them, we put them in tiny pieces. Right now we are putting uh, one spoonful of chicken on each of our um, biscuit halves. And these will be ready in about eight to ten minutes. You put the chicken on, you cover them with your cheese, you pop them in the oven at 375, and shortly you will make some smiling faces. Here's your product as it comes out of the oven. Nice and hot and cheesy. Emily, you wanna taste this? There you go. Good? Very good. Angela's now gonna show you how to make our chicken roll up using Oscar Mayer bacon, boneless chicken breast, and uh, brown sugar. Simple, simple recipe. Go ahead. Um, first thing I do is I get the boneless chicken tender strips. And I just cut those up with the scissors. You can get like three bites out of one strip, which is really awesome. Put a little bit of Worcestershire on there, let it soak. Then get your Oscar Mayer bacon, and I cut that in half. So I get double for the package. Then just take a little bit of the chicken, and then we're going to roll it up. And you can also put water chestnuts in these, which gives it a little bit extra crunch. And that makes it super yummy. Then just line them up in your little cooking dish. Put them pretty close. And then after we get the bowl full, we're going to cover them in brown sugar. Sinfully cover them in brown sugar. So you've got all the necessities for a super great snack. You got your fat, your little bacon, your chicken, and your sugar. <laughs> and have your Diet Coke with that. All right. <laughs> I am going to perform the sinful, sinful part of this. I'm going to just cover it with light brown sugar. Absolutely wonderful. These have been in the oven for approximately 35 minutes at 375 degrees. Everybody's oven has its own little things, and I just test them, look at them, make sure they're done. But um, 375 degrees for about 35 minutes. Remember, no matter who wins the Super Bowl, we've given you two recipes that are sure to be a winner at your next party. Easy, simple, inexpensive, and something you can prepare in 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. We'll see you again next week at Harris Farm. Is it good, Lily? It's great, isn't it?